but I had the misfortune, maybe your good fortune, to actually watch BBC News just before coming into the studio. I haven't watched BBC News for quite some time, and largely for the reasons that are, in a way, exemplified by the news bulletin I'm about to talk about now. Number one item on the BBC News this evening was not the coronavirus, 106,000 people dead from it, or even the good news about the 600,000 people that got vaccinated yesterday here in this green and pleasant land, beating the European Union into a cocked hat. No, neither was it about the economic collapse of companies, the loss of jobs, the danger of an actual economic depression. No, the number one item on the BBC News this evening for fully five minutes was a protest in Moscow. Now, they were up close and personal. So up close and personal with their cameras, I began to smell a rat because I've seen that tactic before. Why no wide shots? Why no high shots? Why no broad view of the protest in Moscow? I got suspicious because the camera was literally in amongst the protesters and very vegetarian they looked indeed very middle class, all spoke perfect English to the BBC. That made me even more suspicious.